job here and correct our base to known points because our base point was gone. So I'm going into setup. I'm going to start my base. And this is after I've already corrected my base. I'm going to use point number 5,000. I'm going to give it a description of B1, if you can see that there. And that's just my brain thinking. This is my first base on this new job. And we're going to get an autonomous reading. Let it take a couple shots. Do that. I also want to config my radio. Okay, I need to set my base to 464.75.25. And we're going to start the radio. I know it says start radio, but that configures everything. Close out there. Now we're going to start our base at that point. Base is started, go to rover connection. So now we connect to the rover, connect to the last point. RTK fixed. And if you just heard that, my receiver just went fixed. And we'll pick our rover. Setup status, look here, and you see we're fixed, going to our system, and give it a second here, populate the fields, and there's the satellites that we're using, 100% radio. So we're ready to go to another control point now, and tie it in and get the base adjusted to the previous work. Okay, so now I have my rod on a known point. And I'm just going to go into stake, I'm going to go into points, and I'm going to switch this to nearest. And my rod height is 6.08, even though it looks like it's at 6, it's 6.08. And I don't need a stake report on this one, so we'll uncheck that. And then we'll go into stake. And as you can see here, it's pulled point number 303, and we are missing it four feet south and four feet east. Okay, so now we go into setup. We're going to correct our base. Topo point will give this 5001. And we hit our little guy there, and I'm going to just call this adjust to 303. And I go into settings. I'm going to take a hundred shots on this because I want it to be accurate. You know, as accurate as you can get for GPS. So we'll check on that one. 608 for the rod height. And we'll start the measurement process. And I'm going to stop this now. So there we just hit number 100 and stored it. Our known point. We type in there. This will be 303. Check on that. And we hit check up there. And you see the offsets are four foot, four foot, and the height is 1.36. And yes, we want to correct the base. Now we'll go into stake points. We'll switch that and then remember 303. And we'll hit stake on it. Now you can see we're matching right back onto that one. So I'm going to look at my options here for precise 30. I'll leave that there. We'll hit auto store on that one. And let's just store a good checkpoint. And for some reason, and I'm making you sit through 30 shots. Thirty and stored them. And we look down here at our differences. You can see northern right on. You know, nature GPS. We are pretty close. We are good to go. We're going to go stake another point and see how well we've done. Okay, so now we've gone to point number three hundred, and you see, as with GPS, we are jumping between fill one, fill zero, fill three, fill four. I think it's the twenty-five hertz is doing it. Let's do a good shot on here. 
and do an average and I'm gonna stop this and I'll show you the results. Northern Easting ran out of money, difference in elevation, I had fill almost 200. So, oh, it's GPS, so we are good. And here we have a point that's oh, about a half a mile from the point I used to correct to on the other side of the job here. And you can see we're matching right on this one. So uh, we should be good to go.